remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I think it would be hard to find someone to argue with you that boxing has fallen off in the last several years. But lately, starting to get a little interesting, at least, you know, like there's a couple of fights that I actually want to see. I'd love to see a Wilder Tyson Fury rematch. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I would love to see that rematch. Mainly because now it gets interesting. Deontay Wilder, who was considered to be the most dominant fighter in the game, the strongest guy, he went down. And now it's time to see what he's really made of. You want to see, can he overcome adversity? Now, Here's the thing. A report recently came out that they're saying Deontay blamed his heavy 40-pound costume that he wore into the ring for draining his energy and making his legs weak. I don't believe that. I hope that he did not use that as an excuse because you only wear that damn costume for the amount of time that you go through the tunnel and get into the ring. Well, you put it on, of course you put it on prior to going into the tunnel, uh, coming out of the tunnel, but knowing that it weighs 40 pounds, you would put it on at the la very last moment, right? And especially the heaviest part, the, kind, the part that you could put on uh, last, you wouldn't put the whole thing on at the same time. It's just... It's not plausible that that's the reason that he lost the fight. It's not plausible at all, and I hope he's not trying to use that as an excuse. I hope that's just chatter. In any event, I would love to see the rematch because I really do believe that in the rematch, I think Deontay is going to win. A big part of the reason why he lost that fight, of course, is that he got his eardrum busted, and once that happened, his equilibrium was off. There ain't much you can do. I don't care how bad you are. There ain't nothing much you can do once you uh, get your eardrum bust. So that's that. Now, on to the latest. Clarissa Shields and Layla Ali, the daughter of Muhammad Ali, they've been going back and forth lately. Clarissa feels that Layla has been disrespectful, being dismissive of her, saying that, you know, she's not, you know, she's good or whatever, but she can't beat me, you know. And Clarissa is like, hey, you know, uh, I don't really want to fight a 40, 41-year-old Layla Ali, uh, but if she bring it, I'll give her the smoke. Layla feels like she's being disrespected, so she got a lot of comments to make about Clarissa. She says that she has to be inspired, number one, by the opponent, number two, by the money. I actually think it's by the money first, and then number two is the opponent. Because, you know, you give any fighter the right amount of money. I mean, fighters are already used to risking their lives. So if you're already used to risking your life, that's what you do, that's your profession. They put the right amount of money up in there. You know how to go in the ring and you know, kinda get on out of the way in time before you suffer a debilitating injury or a life-sustaining injury. You dig what I'm saying? So with the right amount of money, I believe that any fighter would come out of retirement. What's your number? I do believe everyone has a number. I believe Floyd Mayweather is going to fight again. It's too much money out there. And people want to see that O go. 
Some people don't like the fact that Floyd is undefeated. They would pay to see Floyd get whooped. Now, who do you guys think would win the fight? First of all, I need two opinions. Who do you think would win in a rematch between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? Who do you think would win the rematch between Layla Ali? Well, not a rematch, but the fight between Layla Ali and Clarissa Shields. I do believe there is going to be a fight. It's too much talking going on. And, you know, people like to build up. So I think a fight will happen. If I had to put my money on one of the ladies, I would put my money on Clarissa Shields. I do think that Mother Time has caught up with Layla Ali. I know she's 40 years old, but I just don't think she's going to be able to handle Clarissa Shields. I think she's too much. The woman is very dangerous. Having said that, I still want to see the fight. Like, I don't want Layla to get hurt, but I want to see that fight. And I'll probably attend. What say you? Drop a comment. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?